Don't be afraid to detach from your family. If the environment is not loving, supportive, respectful, and cordial, then it's toxic. And you have to be real with yourself. And you have to understand that it's extremely difficult to thrive around people who pull you down. It's extremely difficult to heal around the same people who traumatize you. It is a never-ending cycle of the same things. The things you say don't matter. The way you feel, it doesn't matter. No one listens to you. No one really cares about what you do until they care about what you do. You understand what I'm saying? And if you know, you know. But you have to realize this is your life. Your outlook on life is going to be different. You're not going to agree with everybody. And (laughs) you're your own person. You're going to have to separate yourself from them at some point. I know, um, you know, I have a few family members like this, but maybe y'all do. But y'all always have that one uncle or that one auntie that moved away 20 years ago. You probably seen them once, twice maybe, and all of your family, you know, they they talk bad about them. And as a kid, you're like, why is everybody always ganging up on them? Why is everybody always talking about them? Then when they come around, they pretty cool people. And then as you get older, you realize, I would have moved away too. That black sheep dynamic, you, you finally grow into it. And you start to understand all the toxicity and just the nature of narcissistic people and just, you know, not not even just in a negative connotation, just outgrowing people, becoming different, just the indifference and having to move to become you or just be in a place where people accept you and not being around your family. And sometimes it's hard to let go of that. Sometimes it's hard to break away from that mold and it's painful and most of the pain comes from you just not wanting to let go of the final pain that you're going to feel which is letting them go sometimes the pain of letting go is the only thing that you have left to hold on to you understand what I'm saying so a lot of people don't like to let go of the people that traumatize them and they don't want to let go of their family because that's all they have left is to be able to hold on to it, to be able to use it as a crutch to why they're not successful, to why they don't do this, to why they feel like this. But you can't blame nobody. You are in more control than you believe. You really have more control than you believe. And I know it's easier said than done, but you could literally leave your situation any day. I'm not telling you it's gonna be fun. I'm not telling you you're gonna be successful day one of leaving your family walking away from a house or like being homeless something but you have more control than you know it and you have to do what you have to do to get through what you got to get through deal with your issues don't use them as a crutch don't hold on to them you was born here by a family you didn't you didn't choose to be here you know what i'm saying you don't owe them anything you only owe your family something when you create a family you understand what i'm saying So you got to look out for yourself. You got to look out for your own well-being because this is your life. And whether you love your family or you don't, they're going to leave you at some day or you're going to have to leave them. They're going to pass. You're going to pass. This is your life. When it's time for you to perish, you will perish. So you got to live your life the way you want to. You can't have people putting limiters on you and beating you down into the ground so you don't grow out of this this mold. That's not the way to live. That is not the way to live. Blood is not bondage. Blood makes you related. Family is chosen. Family is people who love you, who support you, who are cordial with you, who got your back, who listen to you, or loyal to you. That is family. I was very close to this beautiful person. Lots of potential. But from the moment I met this person, I knew there was a lot of trauma involved. I could see it behind the eyes. I could see the deprivation of just an ear to listen to. And I just made sure I was always present. I I always made sure that this person felt the way I would want to feel. Or I I internalized the, the pain in those eyes 
and put myself in those shoes and was like, if I feel what I'm feeling, what would I want from a person? A person that listens, a person that's warm, that's caring, that shows up, doesn't abandon me. I seen all those things just by looking in the eyes and I became that person for this person. And I would hear all these things about all these toxic environments they were in around all these toxic people, which were their family. And I'm just like, damn, how could somebody do this to a person so beautiful with so much potential? Just a, a little flower, right? How could somebody do that? And it's, it's unfortunate. Well, eventually this person moves back with their family back into the toxic environment and all the traumas that I seen in those eyes whenever I started to go around them while they were around their family I seen where every little nuance every characteristic every pain molecule came from I seen it all through conversation through body language through construct of the house everything I seen everything come about And I made it my duty to save this person. I made it my duty to get this person out of this place because I wanted them to grow. I wanted them to flourish. I wanted them to reach their full potential because that's what I see in people. That's what I saw in this person. I seen past all the the trauma. I seen past all the facades that were put on by self from outer experiences of people putting this person down and this person feeling like nothing. I seen past all that. I seen an angel, a star, and I wanted to unlock that. So I made it my mission to save this person. Well, certain things happen. Certain things get said, certain things get done. Certain things get taken out of proportion. Certain things just happen with humans. Well, this person was very comfortable around their family while being uncomfortable. The situations they put themselves in, it made it hard for them to break away from their family, break away from this toxic environment. So any chance that I got, I would take them away. I would give them the greatest experiences. I would do all that I could, give them motivation, make plans, all these things. But ultimately, it didn't work. Because this person was damaged. And I don't mean that in a negative concept. I mean in reality. Beautiful person, but damaged. Simply. Not damaged goods. Just damaged. A state of being. And when you don't heal your wounds, you will bleed on people who don't cut you. Things that aren't supposed to go certain ways will go ways they shouldn't. Things will just happen and things will become poison by the environment that you were brought up in. And there's no way to heal from a toxic environment and toxic people if you stick around them. And some people are so blinded by their trauma they can't even see the love that has come to save them. They can't see the way out. And they use that as a crutch. My life is bad because of my family. I can't do what I wanna do because of my family. You just got to break away, man. You just got to break away. Know what you want in life. Get a real solid idea of what you want in life. And really ask yourself, the people that I call family, do they help me get closer to where I want to be? Or are they holding me back? Which one is it? Because I have good relatives. And I have relatives I don't talk to. I have relatives I don't agree with. But I know how to keep it cordial. I don't like politics. My grandpa asked me about politics. I just said, oh, I don't know. Or I just agree with him even if I don't agree because I don't care. I love him to death, by the way. Love him to life, by the way. But that's what I mean. You're just not going to agree with everybody. And certain things just 
aren't worth your energy. I listen to my grandfather talk all the time, even about things I don't really care about or don't want to hear. I love him to life. But I don't have the energy to just stick around and hear things that may hinder me or listen to thoughts that I don't necessarily agree with and consume them. I will listen to them for the sake of you, you know, wanting to be heard, but I'm not going to consume it. I'm not going to live my life the way, you know, X, Y, and Z wants me to live my life because this is my life. Y'all had a chance. And I appreciate y'all for all coming together and making this family to, you know, create me. But now I got to do it for me. I didn't ask to be here. Neither did you. Or them. They didn't ask to be here either. But like I said earlier in the video, you don't owe your family anything until you create one. So if you feel like the black sheep, if you feel like the outcast, if you feel like your life will be better if you separate yourself from family, by all means do so. That doesn't mean you have to have bad blood with your family. Like I, I love my family, but I know that if I stick around, my ceiling is being cut very short. I'm gonna have to move, my, my spirit it's just too free. And, and I have a simple family. Most of like my close relatives, they simple. They don't really like to travel. They don't really like to do That's not me. Like, I'm the type of dude that's going to be on a mountain one day, in the middle of the ocean the next day, and then inside the pyramid that afternoon. Like, that's just me. Right? And I appreciate my family for everything they've done. Right? But you got to break free, man. You got to break free. So, if this message resonated with you, I'm glad it did. And uh, let's do what we got to do, man. If it's not loving, if it's not supporting, respectful, or cordial, then it's toxic. If they don't understand you, of course they don't. You're a star. <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you again. I love you. Hope you subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Hope you comment. Let me know how you're doing. Or your situation. I think um, it's kind of a given now that the comment section has turned into just a tribal meeting. We all just get down there and discuss things and, you know, people comment to each other and we just express things. If you want to just get things off your chest, get them off in the comments. This is a judgment-free zone. So, I love y'all, man. It's nice talking to you once again. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.